Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Coffee with Father James. Uh, a lot of things happen in the month of May. Uh, it's a season of new beginnings, a season of new life. And for, well, most of my years as a priest, I've been a priest for almost, oh boy, 27 years. Um, I know it's hard to imagine. Uh, May has always been associated with a time for retreat. You know, priests are required to do an annual retreat once a year. And for, I think, for every priest I've ever met, it's, it's not really experienced as a requirement. It's something like, it's such a, a, a tr not something that we have to do, it's something we get to do. Uh, because most of, most of the time we're just thirsting for uh, a time of, of, of rest, to, be, to go away from the busyness of life and to uh, be with one another, to be with the Lord, to take some time to reflect and to, and to pray. Uh, as you watch this video, uh, our priests of the Archdiocese of Halifax, Yarmouth, are on retreat together. Uh, over the last couple of years, we've been going to a retreat center in Prince, Ed Prince Edward Island. And so they're there together. As you watch, they'll be, they started on Sunday night and they'll finish on Friday afternoon uh, to return to their parishes uh, for, for the weekend masses. So please pray for them and for the retreat director. Uh, pray for uh, an abundant grace. You know, at the heart of, of the Christian life is a relationship with Jesus and to be close to the Lord, to be in relationship with him, to be renewed in spirit. And for those of us in pastoral leadership and pastoral ministry, if, if that's not at the heart of what we're doing, then um, it's just gonna be a human endeavor and it's not gonna bear a lot of fruit. So please pray for them that their relationship with the Lord will be uh, refreshed and renewed. Um, for myself, uh, as you watch this, I'm still in London and we're just finishing off the, the lead, the meetings around the leadership conference. And so it was difficult this year because I had these two different commitments. I had uh, already made a commitment several years ago to, to, to being involved in these events th this week. So as a result, I'm going to be making my own retreat this week, starting on Thursday this week. I'm gonna be traveling to a, a, a convent slash monastery in England as a convent of sisters who have over the last number of years been interceding and praying for Divine Renovation Ministry. They're very dear friends, and they've been inviting me for several years now to go and, and visit their, their convent. They have a, a retreat house, and so I'm going to be going there and having uh, basically a four, five-day silent retreat, the same amount of time as I would, as I would have had had I been in Prince Edward Island with the priests. So now I told a few people and they, they kind of laugh saying, you think you can stay off your phone for five days? Well, I think I can, because <laughs> I'm aware that I really need this time and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So I'm sending you this message to ask you to, to, to pray for our priests, to pray for the grace of renewal, refreshment and rest. They all start with ours, renewal, refreshment, rest for all of our priests, for our bishop, and if you can please pray for me uh, as I take this time um, that I may engage, reconnect in a deeper way with the Lord and, and, uh, and be refocused and re-energized. There's another one, re-energized. So that's all folks, uh, I'll be back soon. And uh, thanks for your, for your support. And please know that as I take this time of retreat and indeed all of our priests do, that we will be carrying you uh, with us into our celebrations of the Eucharist, which we'll have every day and also in our daily prayer. God bless. Take care.